That's it's huge. It's a big old number. I don't turn anything down, man. I'm fixing a list of uh, five acres in a in a mobile home up in North Baldwin County for like eighty thousand or something. And I had to drive up there and price it and spend just as much or more time on that as I do a million dollar property. So I don't yeah. I don't yeah. I don't turn anything. I don't I don't tell myself, hey, I'm only gonna do this or I'm only gonna do that. You know, I don't turn anything down. This is my little setup right here. It's a Canon SD. I got the Gorilla tripod. I got the Rode mic. I got the 24-70mm lens. And, uh, I got it because I want to start documenting more of what's going on while Blake's not around and doing just more stuff and doing stuff like from my from my point of view you know as opposed to just you know from a second angle so stepping our blog game up What's up? Just looking for properties. Hey, did uh, you got a listing? Oh, uh, it's a pretty dang good possibility. Was it uh, was it off the circle prospecting or something else? I texted you last night. I mean, I hit the ground super, super hard. Yeah. When I first started. And yeah. The fruits of those labors is coming to fruition right now. Listen, anybody you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, right. Yeah, like I don't know nobody. So what, uh, how much, how much, how, what's the payment on a million dollar loan? You just need to stay busy, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, just yeah. stay busy doing deals, talking to people, trying to put stuff together. Just stay busy, you know, every day. Don't worry about the results. Don't worry about that listing that you missed on that road because you wasn't sending mail outs to it. Don't worry about all that. There's more than you can handle available right. there for you. I mean, there's more. I mean, you can't handle it all. So just stay right. busy. Just stay busy doing deals, you know. Um, yep. You know, don't get discouraged. Don't lose the faith. You know, I mean, closings are happening every day. So, 
you know, just keep moving forward and pressing forward and, you know, try to work harder every day than you've ever worked before, you know, try to push as hard as you can and, you know, just learn and get better. Well, bro, you got any further questions or anything I can help you with? No, man, I'm just, you know, just pressing forward, man. You know, uh, once I get my feet back on, you know, I'll add, add to what I'm doing and add to my coaching and add to everything and just keep climbing that mountain. Oh, for sure, man. Just continue learning, continue growing, continue pushing. I think you got it, man. It, the only difference in you and being where you want to be is just time. You know, you just got to just keep doing it for, you know, keep doing it, you know, and in the next three to five years, you'll be kind of where you want to be. And then from there, you can then decide how far do I really want to take this, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. And I want to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll be 47 this year. Is that right? Yeah. So I want to start kind of diversifying, you know, investments and things of that nature. <laughs> kind of like, you know, some of the, I don't know if you just flip properties or if you rent them out as well or both. But I want to kind of get into that stuff as well. Get that, yeah. That passive, that passive income coming in. And it's not, it's not passive, man. It's a lot of work. You got to fix the properties up. You got to fix toilets. You got to evict people. You got to find renter. You got to find renters. You know, you got to you got to fix them up and flip them. It's a lot of work. There's nothing passive. Nothing passive about it.